that. What up, people? It is any tier guild forever, however you want to call me. Tonight we are reviewing Don Machi episodes four and five. Pretty good episodes. Pretty the uh, they were kind of well, no, they weren't slow. Pretty much what these two episodes, in my opinion, truly where the story was focused on was the connection between Belle and this little girl who was obviously a thief. Because she's trying to get something or accomplish something or join the Soma Familia. Her name is Lily Ruka. Lily Ruka, I think that's what you said. I think that's what her name was. Forgot exactly what was her name. But anyway, yeah. <clears throat> this is a connection between her and uh, Belle. Turns out all she wanted from him was his whatever valuable he has. So she can take it, sell it, make a profit out of it. Either... I'm, I'm not sure what was exactly her goal, but she wants something. That's why she's going through the trouble of getting all this money, collecting all this money. Or, because it looked like she owed money, more or less, to uh, some thugs or whatever. That's why I initially thought, but apparently it's more complicated than this. And apparently, she is not just a healer. She can use magic. She's a magic user. Speaking of magic... Bell, I swear to God, this guy is possibly the most luckiest bastard I have ever seen in anime, period. First of all, he has every girl flopping over him. Second of all, everything amazing, weapon, gear, item-wise, just gets given to him. Just like that. Started with the dagger, and now he was able to get his hands on a grimoire, which whoever the user reads will instantly be given magic and now he has fire magic which is wild I thought that was him getting it and I thought it it came from him and he was OP but no it's the book that's amazing and apparently it's just as pricey as something made from I forgot what was her name but the but the eye patch girl the usually the 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 product she makes but it could be just as pricey as what she makes or more that is insane so he got his hands on something amazing good thing though he got a slap on the wrist even after telling them the truth because if you really think about it it wasn't even his fault she let him borrow it she didn't know what it was he didn't know what it was so it's all fair game it's not and besides he didn't even mention borrowing it or anything. She, he, he was just reading it and then she was like, hey, why don't you borrow this? And he's like, cool. So, wasn't his, wasn't his fault. It was her fault. Or whoever dropped it there and just left it. Who was the one that left that book there in all honesty though? Like, who did leave that book? Because that was too coincidental. I wouldn't be surprised though if it was that woman Freya, the goddess. Because... She has been thirsting for Bell. Like, she is very interested in him because apparently, like, he has... She's interested in his growth, but it could just be he has something special. Special ability or something special about it, him. I have no idea. Ains, for, for a while, we actually heard her talk. I rarely hear that woman ever talk. And... It looks like she may in fact have a thing for Belle because the way she interacted with him toward the end of last episode, it kind of gave some hints. But then again, it really just feels like every freaking female in this series is attracted to Belle. Once again, he does not have the Kirito effect. He has it worse. He's on God level. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah. It's crazy how, how this guy keeps getting everything handed to him and he hardly tries at all, but um I'm definitely am curious at the character Lily Ruka. Wonder what's her deal, what she's trying to accomplish, and what did she mean toward the end of episode five when she's just said it's about that time. I'm just assuming she's going to part ways with Belle pretty dang soon so she can get something, accomplish something, or get somewhere. One of the two. I'm pretty dang sure it's one of those two things. We don't know any specifics. At first, I assumed that she was she's planning to do this to join the the Soma familia, right? But then she was like, "Who cares about adventures? Who cares about this? Who cares about that?" So 
It made me question whether she really did want it that or she is after something else. Not exactly sure what it is this, this girl Lila Ruka is after, but I'm sure it will be apparent to us in the following episode. On my overall thoughts on uh, how to pick up a girls in the dungeon, it's I. It's not crazy. I, I, I do still get the SAO vibes, but I prefer SAO in my opinion. Excuse me. But uh, once again, it's entertaining. For the most part, it is entertaining. And I find... Uh, once again, in my opinion, what I feel I get the SAO vibes about is how this guy just gets every goal without even trying. I don't know why I'm burping so much. Anyway, yeah. But in my opinion, yeah, it's a decent show. A pretty decent watch. Am I crazy about it? No. Do I hate it? No. Do I think it's bad? No. Do I think it's good? Yes. It is good. It's not great. It's not excellent. It's good. That's how I see it. If I were to say something that I really like about this show, based on what I have knowledge of, the comedy and seeing Belle's growth. That's the driving force of this series. Because we've already seen the action. The action is pretty good and the comedy is freaking downright hilarious. But I'm curious to see more of Bell's growth because it feels like this is what the series... Like I said before, it's kind of like the whole zero to hero kind of transition. You know what I mean? It's going to start him off as this weak um, adventurer and eventually he's going to get crazy powerful. It looks like he's already getting closer and closer down that road. It's just a matter of... Where is it going to lead him into? Not to mention Freya has a keen interest in him based on what he has internally. She said she can't wait for him to show his true power. Something inside of him. Some sort of hidden gem in him. As for what it is she seizes him, I have no idea. But it was enough to bring the eyes of a goddess to him. Then again, he already has a goddess that's thirsty for him. And now apparently another one is too. So... This man's like, he's like on that, he's on, he's, when you make goddess like thirsty for you, you know you're doing a damn good job. I'm just saying. But yeah, most of these episodes were pretty generic, pretty basic. I mean, these two anyway. Last three episodes were amazing. These two are like, they took it kind of slow. I mean, not really that slow. The main, the main, uh, my main interest in these two episodes was just seeing Lily Ruka and Belle's connection. That's pretty much it. And I'm also curious at Lily Ruka. She definitely piques my curiosity right now. And I can't wait to see what she's talking about and what her character is going to bring to the table later on. I feel like she is going to join the group, like Belle's group, Belle's Familia, because, I mean, look at the ending song. We Obviously, she's going to join... There's another guy that's going to be joining. I don't know who, but I'm sure he is after Lily Ruka. And just overall, she just seems like she's enjoying her time with Belle. So I just don't see why not she partner with him permanently. Obviously, there's something holding her back from truly committing to Belle and his familia. But until then, I'm sure we are going to find out what exactly she is trying to hide. What exactly she's trying to do and why does she need so much money and revenue for Hopefully that's going to be in the following episodes, but I'm, it's either going to be the following or the next after the fall. We'll see. We'll see. But once again, most of the times I did enjoy this show. And yeah, let's just get straight into questions. If there's one thing... You dislike about Belle. Not hate. Know the difference between dislike and like. One thing you dislike about Belle. What is it? And let me know in the comment section below. Question two. What is a good question? If you were to pick an element like... If you were to pick an affinity, like an elemental affili affinity, which would it be? 
And it could be anything as long as it's an elemental. Let me know what it is and why in the comment section below. And would you want to be born with it or learn from it? That way you can be more versatile like Bell. Because Bell got lucky. He now knows magic. But he wasn't gifted with it. It's just that he got it because of he got lucky getting his hands on that book. But yeah. That's it for question two. Alright then guys, that's it. Don't forget to like, comment, sub if you haven't already. Really motivates me to put more content out there for you guys as my guildmates. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace! Well. Where's that stop button?